So briefly, today what I want to talk about is, uh, you know, I, I, I get asked a lot of times, why, why, why did I decide to be an entrepreneur? Why did I decide to start my own business, you know? I've been in business for um, over 15 years. Actually, I started my first real business. I was a salesman in 2001. And that's something I talk a little bit about uh, in the book. Uh, but the, the story I remember was a story my dad tells me where he, he bought me a, a bicycle. I was maybe 13, 14. Bought me a bicycle. Um, and then a few months later, I resold it at a higher price than what he bought it for, and I brought him the money. Now, I don't remember exactly that particular story. Uh, but that's what he's telling me, which I kind of believe. Um, and I think that's, that might have been my first introduction. But I, I always had an interest in, in, in being my own boss. But to be honest, for me, why did I start to be an entrepreneur? Is I couldn't keep a job. I kept getting fired at all different gigs I was having, before, during, and after college, and for different reasons. You know, I didn't get along with my bosses. I didn't like to be told what to do. Sometimes I knew more than the boss after a while. Um, I just didn't like the structure uh, that um, my boss, I mean, uh, some of the structure of those companies. And one thing I've learned, and uh, you, can, um, you, you can forget all these things, but one thing I've learned that I want to share with you guys uh, briefly and that's something I've learned uh, when I was in college uh, I was working for a company uh, called Equinox I was a salesman I was selling water filtration system um, I, f I fell at it I was a failure but I learned a lot because they had a training program and I talk a lot about it on the book one thing I learned is all structure all company structure government structure um, you know whether it's public, private, whatever structure you're working on, is shaped as a pyramid. You know, there's a president, there's a VP, vice president, there's a, you know, you want to call it a manager, supervisors, and everybody else, the employees. And that's how it works. All structure are, are shaped like this. And the bigger the, the structure is, the bigger the pyramid is. But if you look at traditional big companies, you have a few guys at the top and you have a bunch of people here at the bottom. You know, that's how it works. And what they teach you at school or, or in, um, you know, your parents tell you, go get a job, start here and work your way up. That's what you taught. You know, that's what we all taught. You go to school, learn a skill set, find a good company to work for, you know, start here somewhere. If you're lucky, you did a master or PhD, you might start here. That's for the lucky ones. But you have to work your way up. Now, you're competing for a few positions as you go up. The math don't add up. For you to get promoted, the person has to quit, get sick, or die. Those are the only three options you can, you can have to get a promotion. Great options also. Your chances for you to move all the way up are zero to none. Now, it happens sometimes, some company, but you know, the, the odd is, is you have a better chance winning the lottery than getting a chance to start at, at a big company and move all the way to the top of the, the, the channel. What I love about entrepreneurship, and that's something that really opened my mind, it blew my mind, is when, you, when you're an entrepreneur, you start here. You start at the, at the top of the pyramid, you know, and you build your organization going down. And that's the big difference between an employee and an entrepreneur. Instead of starting at the bottom, you start at the top. And uh, when, when, I, when I learned about that, it, it, it completely changed my, my, my mindset. I, I, I really understood now what the game was all about. Now, of course, 
you know, is it challenging? Yes. Is it extremely hard? Yes. Is the rate of failure this high? Absolutely. But now you're in control. Um, and from that moment on, you know, that's when I made the decision to be an entrepreneur.